Welcome to my lecture online. Now we're going to take the solution we got from the previous video and find the specific solution for a specific condition. So here we found that if we had the partial differential equation of x times the partial of u with respect to x minus 2y times the partial of u with respect to y equals 0, and we took this, the case where p was equal to constant, u can then be found by finding a function of p which we found to be the function of x squared y. That's from the previous video. Now, if we're given that u is equal to 2y plus 1 in the case when x is equal to 1, find u. So how do we do that? Well, let's see here. We can say that u of xy is equal to a function of x squared y. And we also know that u, when x is equal to 1, is equal to 2y plus 1. So now, how do we go from here to here if we replace 1 by x? So we know that somewhere in our function, somewhere in our u, we need to have an x squared y, and the place to insert that would be right here. So if we write 2x squared y plus 1, that would be a function of x squared y, which means that we can say that therefore u of xy, a possible solution would be 2 times x squared y plus 1, which means that if we replace x by 1, we put a 1 in here, we get 2 times 1 times y, we get back what we started with here. So therefore, this is indeed a valid solution that we're looking for in the case. So we can see here, we can verify, so check, let's do a check. First of all, we know that the function includes x squared y, which is a requirement. That was the general solution that u had to be some function of x squared y, which this meets that requirement. The second requirement is that if we let x go to 1, we should get back 2y plus 1. So let's do that. So u of xy, if we assume that that is equal to x squared y, x squared y plus 1, now if we replace x by 1, we get u 1y is equal to 2 times 1 squared y plus 1, which is equal to 2y plus 1, which is the same as what we had over here when x equals 1. The requirement was that u was equal to 2y plus 1. So it meets both requirements. So this here, where are we? Here we have a valid solution, meaning all the requirements for that partial differential equation. And so that's one of the solutions. There's sure other ones as, as well, but here's one and that will do.